Uh, the celebrations begin. It had to come eventually, Martin. Surely it had to come eventually, and finally, Charlotte Flair can deliver a Formula One victory in his hometown. He's been supremely confident all weekend, hasn't he? Driving beautifully, hasn't run into anything, peaked at the right moment for pole position, controlled the race perfectly, and his reward is, and he was talking about his father, who he lost quite young, and uh, that is why I'm pretty sure he was well enough as well, with a couple of laps to go, as he explained, and not now, Charles, he said, but he obviously talked to himself, what's going around there? And that is the first of the spot we still Charlotte Blair will be exposed to tonight. These are celebrations that are going to go on for a while. And why not? The Prince Albert is joining in in the spray of the bubbly. He might have started the trend there. Fabulous for Ferrari. Champion for Charles, wasn't it? Leclerc on top at the Monaco Grand Prix. Uh, a lot of dry eye uh, in Monaco right now. I'm not sure who's more emotional, Prince Albert or Charlotte Claire, but absolutely lovely, the moment of his life. Uh, he's been here since, well, forever, hasn't he? He's been here, he was born here, raised here, and today he will have achieved that lifelong dream to win his home Grand Prix, standing in front of local royalty on the top step of the podium, able to celebrate the champagne, um, paying homage as well to his father, of course, passed away back in 2017. Uh, a really emotional moment for Charles Leclerc, a really important one for Ferrari. Uh, that is now three winners outside of Max Verstappen and Red Bull this year. And just for a bit quietly, perhaps, if we see uh, this pattern continue over the next couple of races, there is a championship on our hands. Red Bull will have something to say about that, and their car just...